Here is our second velocity problem. As usual, we have been given four things. Number one, a mechanism. Number two, all its link lengths. Number three, an angle which specifies this particular configuration. And number four, the angular velocity of one of the links. This mechanism is a single degree of freedom mechanism and therefore in theory knowing one velocity we should be able to find all others. We start by plotting the configuration to some scale into a configuration or space diagram and then we proceed to plotting the velocity diagram. We start with our fixed point O and C since both are fixed they coincide over here. In fact the entire fixed link is represented by this single point. Next we proceed to this point A at the tip of this crank OA. Its velocity will be perpendicular to OA and given by distance OA multiplied by its angular velocity omega. Then we are going to descend down to this link CD from point A but the difficulty is between the two there is this slider. In such situations we consider what is called as a double point. So we take a point B which is geometrically at the same place as A but situated on link CD. And since they are situated on two different links, they will have a relative motion. So with respect to A, B will be sliding along this direction, C, D. And with respect to C, B will be executing a circular motion around it. So we can get two loci of the direction of B. So first, we plot the direction of B's velocity relative to C which is perpendicular to BC and then we plot the direction of velocity of B relative to A from A which is parallel to this guide. Wherever these two loci meet we locate the velocity image of B. Having found B which is on the rigid link B uh, rigid link C, B, D, we can extrapolate this velocity image C, B in the same ratio to locate point D. From D, we can proceed to find the velocity image of E. So, velocity of E relative to D will be perpendicular to D, E. So, that locus we can plot. And since E is constrained to slide along the horizontal guide shown here, relative to our fixed point O, its locus will be like this horizontal line. Wherever these two intersect, we locate the velocity image of E. And thus, we complete our velocity diagram. Finally, we read off all the linear velocities from the velocity diagram using the scale and list them here. As for the slider, like this slider E, the velocity can be directly applied. So the velocity of the slider E is 449 millimeters per second. But for the links, which are not just translating but rotating as well, their angular velocity uh, needs one extra step. For example, this link DE has a velocity image DE over here so we can read it off to the velocity scale and then divide it by capital DE which is here in the configuration diagram the actual length of the link and thereby get the angular velocity. To get the sense we have to see what is the velocity of E with respect to D. It is in the upward direction like this so E is moving upward relative to D so the link must be rotating in a counterclockwise sense.